Hi guys, it is Grace and today, today we are going prom dress shopping. Um, this is like my first time trying on prom dresses, so I thought I'd film it. We have literally been on a like two and a half hour journey. Has it been? Yeah. Yeah, to travel to this prom dress place. It's one of the most well known prom dress shops. It won like an award on tea and all of that. So I'm really excited to go there and try some on. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd vlog it a little bit. I'm just wearing like a really comfy outfit, just like a bodysuit and jeans. And I've got my own heels, and I think that's what I really need. So, guys, we're here, and I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> right. Guys, look at all of these prom dresses. This is the section I think I'm gonna try. Oh. Okay guys, so we're currently looking around. There's all like different sections. So we're in like the pink and black section. And it's quite intense. They've given us like five of these rings. Emma. And we can like put them on five dresses that I wanna try on. So we're basically just looking around, trying to find dresses that we like. I'm not meant to be filming. You are probably really confused because I was just whispering. I wasn't actually allowed to film in the store. So when I was in the changing rooms, I was literally whispering so much because I was so scared that they were going to find me. I'm basically going to go through all the dresses and just talk about them, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. And I actually did buy my prom dress this day, but I'm not going to show you guys my prom dress, obviously. So that dress basically... This was the first dress that I tried on. I wasn't that keen on it, but I think my mum or my auntie really liked it who was shopping with me. So things that I didn't like about the dress. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's really, really yellow at the bottom of the dress, which I think is so weird. Like, why is there a yellow section? And it was also quite see-through. There was like a corset at the middle of the dress, which was a bit see-through. So... That was like the indication to me that this dress was not for me. It was the first dress I tried on as well. So I was a bit, I was like, ooh. But I just knew that this just was not my prom dress. So as I've already told you guys, I picked out five dresses and I put my little rings on. So that was one out of the five I actually picked myself. This is the next dress I tried on. This is the second dress. <laughs> I'm much prepared for the first one. I already knew from the get-go that I didn't really want a grey dress. I would go with silver, but I wouldn't go with grey. Even in like normal average clothes, you don't catch me in grey. But I really liked the bottom of this dress. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna try it on because a lot of the time, if you look on the label of dresses, it comes in multiple different colors. So I just thought I'll try on for the style. Um, so yeah, I did not like the top of this dress. It was too much beading in my opinion and it just again was not for me so this was another no this is a third one the next dress is actually okay so as i said i'm not going to show you guys my actual prom dress in this video but this dress was actually like my second option if that makes any sense so it was going to be like I was stuck between this dress I'm showing you guys and my prom dress. It's basically just like this silver mermaid sort of dress. Um, yeah, I obviously really, really liked it because it was like the one I was stuck between. But the thing that I was like, hmm, I'm not really sure. I just didn't know if it would be wow enough for my prom. I know it doesn't really make any sense, but because the silhouette, the silhouette, the silhouette, the, silu the silhouette, the silhouette is quite just like down i didn't know if it'd be wow enough for my prom but i think it's absolutely beautiful dress i would love something like this sort of silhouette for my wedding day that one was more of a silver sort of dress so i was kind of like oh i actually quite like silver so i tried on another silver dress guys this is the next dress this again was one that i picked out i want to say yes to the dress a lot and I always see brides wear this dress in white, like on their wedding day. But yeah, I really like this dress. It reminded me of like the 1920s. But I tried another grey and I was just like, grey is just not for me. But I thought it was cute. I just think it was cute. I'm going to talk about my prom 
dress experience after I've shown you guys all the dresses I tried on. really like this dress. I thought it was really cute. I loved it. So the next dress I'm going to show you guys is the last dress that like I picked out personally. This is known from me because I've seen so many girls with this design. So as I've already said about 100 times, I picked out five dresses. So this is number five. This um, kind of like bandage crisscross pattern was actually, I've got ink in my hand, was actually a really popular prom dress pattern last year. I went to three proms last year, not actually in the prom, like I stood outside the prom and watched them all go in, which I know sounds really like creepy because literally all of my cousins had their prom last year. And I saw so many girls with this like bandage prom dress, which I think is so, so stunning. As soon as I walked out, I was like, but, you know, it's just, I didn't really want that because I've seen so many people have it. But my mum kept nagging me about trying on this bandage fit. And I would have loved this dress if it wasn't so popular last year. So after all of my picks, I actually picked out six dresses because... I picked out my five dresses and then when I was waiting for them to like get all my dresses ready, me, my mum, my auntie went out to this separate section and we just found this dress and we were like, oh, let's just add that into the mix and that ended up being my prom dress. But I wanted to try on more just in case I found something even better. The consultant was really nice and she basically went out, tried to find my dresses. I can't really remember what I told her apart from that I don't like halter neck because I just don't think it's flattering on my physique i think on some people it looks amazing and i just want it to be dramatic and then she went off and she brought me back this dress if you're wondering what the scribble is behind it my prom dress is behind me in that photo so i've scribbled it out she picked me out four dresses so the first one that she picked me out was this really nice kind of pink colored one and um, i really liked this dress overall the bottom bit had feathers all around it which i thought was really sick but the only issue with this dress is I didn't like the side bits. They kind of were cut out, which I just don't feel that that's like one of my least favorite parts of me is like the flabber of my hips. So I really didn't want those bits being accentuated. It was too much being exposed. That's something I realized trying on these prom dresses as I didn't want anything see through. Um, like some dresses were quite see through near areas and I was like no. Next one um, the lady picked out for me was crazy. Like this is the craziest dress I've ever tried on in my life. Um, so she basically showed me two different dresses. One of them had was pink and it had like massive stitch on roses like huge stitch on roses on it and then the other one was this dress and I was like I cannot try on that rose dress I'll try on the other one. And this is the craziest ever. So it's this white dress with feathers at the shoulders. And then it was see-through all of the side. So my whole thigh was out. And then the back of it was all see-through. And it had like lace at the bum cheeks, basically. I immediately was just like, no. But it was fun to try on. And, you know, because trying prom dresses on is so fun. I didn't realise how fun it was. Next dress that they had me try on was this dress and the thing I really really disliked about this dress was the colour. It's this sort of brownie pink, um, which I'm not a fan of at all. I thought it was sort of cute but I just kind of instantly knew that it just wasn't my dress but it was nice to try on I guess. The next one they had me try on, I've literally only got like a two second clip of it because I was just like no, like no. Very French inspired lace dress. I don't even recall trying this on because I remember I tried it on, went out and was like, no, and just came back. But it's this very, very French inspired dress. Um, had massive like chunks of lace on it, loads of like tall on it. Oh, I really just didn't like this dress. I mean, do you know what? This is something I would actually see myself in for prom because I don't, I feel like I've got quite out there style compared to most essex teens so this is something i could actually imagine myself like going in but it is a no from me but do you know what someone in this world could pull that off you could pretty clearly see in my face that i wasn't happy and they didn't really have any more for me so this was the last dress i tried on um uh, i saw these on i saw this dress on the rack and i immediately was like i'm not getting that because i know a girl that had this exact dress just in a different color last year so i immediately knew i didn't want this dress but i just thought i'd try on anyway it's this kind of see-through corset which i'm not a huge fan of because i just 
something I learned, as I've already said, that I don't like see-through things in my dress. But it's this see-through corset with, like, lines of glitter going down to this kind of release at the end. Quite similar to the first dress, but... Oh my god, shut it. It's the exact same dress as the first dress, just without straps. It's a lot nicer without straps, wow. I think I think it's a beautiful dress, I just knew it wasn't my dress. Like, one of my friends, at Connie Keeling, if you're listening, would literally look amazing in that sort of dress. Like, it just fits her so well, but like, Connie doesn't ever listen to me. So Connie Keeling, if you're listening to this, this dress could be your dress. I think it should be your dress. I think it would really suit it. So, they are all of the dresses I tried on, excluding my actual prom dress. And literally, guys, after I tried on all of these prom dresses, I kept going back and forth between the silver dress that you guys saw and my prom dress, which you guys can't see. And I literally just kept trying silver, prom, silver, prom, silver, prom, silver, prom, silver, prom, silver, prom. And literally so many times I tried them on. And then I was just like... I'll tell you what kind of swayed my decision, but I was like, this is the dress, and then I got my prom dress, currently in alterations, and I'm trying it on at the beginning of February, so I'm so, so excited to just wear it and be happy and frolic around in it. So, if that's just all you wanted to see, click off now, but now it's time for a little story time, and my prom experience and what you don't need to bring and all the tea sis. The way this prom dress shop worked that I went to was basically there was probably like five girls at the same time trying on dresses. So it was this one room, five different changing rooms and then the parents. And there was two stools in the middle of the shop where you would stand on and look at yourself in a massive mirror basically. It was quite competitive because you would walk out in one dress and if another girl liked it, the consultant would come and like take it from your room. So it was very dramatic. Like that silver dress that I've shown you guys at the times, I wore that dress and then literally all five girls came out on it and I was like, okay, so I have a good place, sis. It was actually such a nice experience because I loved seeing what everyone else was wearing and there were so many different kind of like styles there. My mum and auntie were loving life, like looking at what everyone else was wearing and they would, they would be like, yeah, that really suits you, like to all the other girls bless them but it was quite intense so the prom dress i actually bought there was one of them in the whole store so i feel like you can only imagine how stressful it was when i came out in this dress because all the parents were like oh my daughter wants to try that on my daughter wants to try that on and i kept saying my consultant my consultant my like what they called like my prom dress sir kept coming up to me like, Do you, are you still interested in that dress? Are you still interested in that dress? Because a, a lot of people wanted it. I was like, yes, I'm still interested. I'm still interested. I would not let that dress go. And my mum at one point had to come up to me and be like, Grace, guard that dress. Because there was literally people asking for it to be taken out of my changing rooms. And they all said like, if I gave up on it, like which daughter would try it on first? Like, oh, my daughter's next. Oh no, my daughter's next to try it on. Like that's how intense it was with this dress. Um, which just swayed my decision even more because obviously it must have looked decent if they all wanted to try it on. You had to like walk up and like go onto these podiums. It was just, it was actually like say yes. Oh my God. So when I found my prom dress, they said, are you gonna say yes to your prom dress? I was like, yes. It was such an enjoyable experience. And the ladies there were so, so nice. And oh, it makes me sad that I can't do it all over again because I've already got my prom dress. But it was such a fun experience, honestly. You don't need to bring anything. Um, I brought heels to my appointment. No, you're not. I don't think you're even allowed to wear heels when trying on the prom dress in case you, like, rip them. There is heels in the changing rooms. But, like, I've got huge feet, so they're not going to fit me. And I just went in socks. Like, br do not go barefoot, for Christ's sake wear socks and then I just wore my socks the whole time and just lifted up the dresses and waddled along. Obviously all the dresses aren't going to fit you, a lot of them were massive on me but the lady just held them in so I would see what it would look like if it was altered. I'm really excited for you guys to see my dress and that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this prom vlog via my dress video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!